Hello everyone, I hope you are all well and welcome to my new video. Uh, so today I will be making uh, this epoxy serving board and I will be using uh, two shades of blue mica and a beige pigment paste uh, for my sand as I didn't have any so I had to improvise. First I started with mixing, uh, separating my resin, I'm sorry, into three different cups. When I was done with separating my resin, I started uh, mixing my ocean colors and first I started with my darker blue mica. Always mix your colors very well. I do that for approximately two minutes. And then I mixed my uh, lighter blue I actually used uh, turquoise uh, blue mica for my lighter color. After I mixed my blue colors, uh, I started mixing my uh, beige pigment paste. As this uh, beige pigment paste was a little bit too uh, light, I wanted to make it a little bit darker. And for that, uh, I used some uh, brown alcohol ink. And you will see I uh, put two drops of brown alcohol ink, but unfortunately it didn't do much. So I had to uh, add some brown uh, mica to it just to make it darker as I didn't want it. I didn't want uh, the color to resemble my waves. And finally, I was happy with the result. My beige wasn't that uh, uh, light anymore. I did get that uh, nice uh, darker, darker color. For my waves, I will be using Deep On uh, Epoxy Pigment Paste. So first, I uh, mixed my white pigment paste very well before I add it into my resin and for my sea uh, floor I will be using some seashells and some wood before I poured my resin I cleaned my mold with some uh, tape as usually uh, there are some pe small pieces of dust or particles they, that just fly around and they end up uh, on the surface of your mold. And finally I started pouring my resin. And first uh, I poured my beige color. After I poured my beige, uh, I poured some clear resin just to divide uh, my, let's say, beach part from my ocean part. Then I added some uh, dark blue mica and in the middle I will pour my turquoise uh, blue mica. I 
I ran out of gloves so I had to use those ones that I had but always protect your hands and always use a mask when you're doing resin. While I was pouring my blue colors, I didn't I did not notice that I had something that fell into my mold. As I was too concentrated on my blue colors. So after I was done with my ocean blue, uh, I saw that and I took that out of my mold. Here it is, bye bye, go away. <laughs> I really don't know how that happened. And then I started uh, putting some wood and some uh, seashells into my beach part. I really had a nice selection of seashells, but you can use whatever you have. And then I started pouring my white for my ocean waves. What I've noticed from the beginning uh, when I poured this white that my white was actually too light. So I had to add some more white pigment paste into my white. And here I am adding some more pigment paste into my white and then I just uh, did a few more lines with my uh, white pigment paste as I said I'm using a deep on white pigment paste now this looked a little bit better uh, and I just continue doing the lines and then I used my heat gun to create the waves. Uh, sometimes you have to repeat this pro process until you get uh, desired results. After I was uh, finished with my waves, I started adding some more seashells and I also added some uh, sea stars and some white little stones.
when I, when I was done with this, I decided to add some uh, more uh, ocean waves. So I added some more white and I used my heat gun again to create waves. I also added some a uh, few little stones and little shells, just few bits and pieces. And I think my uh, board looked really pretty. And here I am the next day adding uh, one more coat to it. For my second layer of resin, I will be using just resin turquoise uh, pigment drops. And I just used one drop as I wanted my resin to be transparent. I really love how this color turned out. Uh, and this is exactly what I wanted so uh, when I was done mixing I just poured uh, my resin uh, into my mold. I just made sure that all the parts of the mold are covered with uh, resin and then tomorrow morning I will just uh, put the final um, top coat and I will be using deep on uh, food safe resin. After I was done with pouring, I just sprayed some alcohol to prevent any bubbles. And this is me the next day, uh, just doing my top coat with my deep on clear resin that is food safe. And the fourth day I demolded my cutting board. I love demolding epoxy. Actually, I love every part of it. I love pouring and demolding and I really love how it turned out um, I just wish that my waves are a little bit more defined so next time I'll be using more opaque white for my ocean waves but it didn't turn out bad I, I really like it as I said so please uh, subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.